Sometimes it seems the $1.5 million budget of the UNI Campus Police is used only for gas, late night quick star runs, and these, a never ending flow of parking tickets. It's as if it's the main function, if not the only function of the PD. To learn about the real mission of the Campus Police, we talked to UNI Director Dave Zerfis. Once you learn how to stay safe, uh, you can stay safe anywhere. We continue to try to make parking better, but as long as parking is the number one issue, there's a lot of other issues that could be a lot worse. Still unconvinced that the only motto in the PD is safety, we asked Zarfus what other issues they deal with. Zarfus responded with only one comment. Come ride with us. We saw the opportunity to ride shotgun as a chance to reveal part of the mystery concerning the department. On a midnight to 6 a.m. shift, we were assigned to 12-year veteran officer what time is it? Andrea is it Jennings. Oh. Jennings says students are the reason she stays at UNI. Because you can form them, you can help guide them into the proper direction that they're going to go. The PD received over 13,000 calls in 2004. Alcohol and drugs are included, but theft seems to be the prevalent crime on campus. That's what's sad is they let somebody in not knowing that they don't belong there and then they ended up walking into somebody's room that's unlocked and then we end up with a burglary or a, or a theft out of their room. The first call of our night didn't deal with theft, but a noise violation gone bad. Uh, the RAs went on two loud party calls, and each one of them, they had alcohol. And everybody's underage, give them some alcohol referrals here so they can go talk to the dean of students, and then dean of students can decide what he wants to do with them. A lot of them will have to go to alcohol classes, and I think it's 50 bucks just for the class to learn about what alcohol, how it affects you, and why you're so loud. Being loud isn't the only way to earn officer attention. Our next call proves that it can be as simple or as difficult as a walk home. I wanted to head over here to 23rd and College. I got a female that's having a little difficulty walking. I'm going to make contact with her. T tonight, just a little while ago, it had been about 1, 108. We saw a gal walking up College Hill here, staggering on her cell phone, falling down. By the time we got up here, she tried to take off from us, tried to run, but in her running experience, she fell into the snow. By the time we got her back to the PD, she was passing out, in and out of consciousness, so we went ahead and called the paramedics on her. The paramedics came, they ended up transporting her, and right now she's at the hospital being pumped full of fluids. And she was charged with public intox. The winter air brisk, but the night still young, as a neighborhood brawl heats the streets. Subject. Okay, we're going to go assist Cedar Falls right now, but the person has a baseball bat, and we don't, have, White House. we don't have anything to protect ourselves from a baseball bat, so Cedar Falls is going to let them head in first here. There was at least seven people standing on the street. At least four of them had been beat to a blood yeah. hole. After <laughs> sorting everything out, so far two people have been arrested. Um, seven to ten people are given statements on what happened. And not every crime is as severe as battery, but Officer Jennings advises that all students should avoid one thing. When a student lies to me, I, I make contact with them, ask them for an ID. They don't have an ID, then they give me a fake name. You know, maybe I was just going to give them a warning, you know, dumped a beer out, or, you know, hey, I just need to know who you were because we had some problems and you're not involved. Give me a fake name. Now I got arrested for interference because you gave me a fake name. With a full night of writing behind, only one thing left unanswered. And you be the judge. Hey, man, look, they're parked in a no parking zone. <laughs> We're not going to write them a ticket, though. We don't care. <laughs> Between stacks of paperwork, no lunch breaks, and definitely no parking tickets, we realized one thing. A night with the UNI Police Department is anything but a donut run. For the IT Investigative Report, I'm Bridget Junker.